number one, what is your name? My name is Bella Velasquez, and I'm the real celebrity imposter. Number two, what is your name? My name is Bella Velasquez, and I'm the real celebrity imposter. Number three, what is your name? My name is Bella Velasquez, and I'm the real celebrity imposter. Only one is the real Bella Velasquez, and has sworn to tell the truth. Three of our players here claim to be the real Bella Velasquez. Two are lying. One has signed a statement swearing to tell the truth. You're of one Bella Velasquez. I, Bella Velasquez, am more than a mock Madonna. As a professional celebrity look-alike, I not only make my living masquerading as the material girl, but I can also teach you how to cash in on your own star quality. From movie sets to private parties, there's a need for expert imposters like bogus bogies, simulated Sinatras, or pretend popes. And even without looking exactly like Tina Turner, I can tell you how to be the diva's double for dollars. So I wrote a book covering everything from look-alike legalities to where to get work. Take a look at me. Can you tell the true fake? Signed, Bella Vlasis. Uh, number one, what, how do you cash in on your star quality? How does one do that? You pick a star you like or respect, and then you watch them. You study them. Yes. Uh, number two, uh, what was the name of uh, Madonna's first movie? She, well, the first one that she had a starring performances was uh, Desperately Seeking Susan. Uh, number three, uh, the name of Madonna's number one selling book? Sex. Uh, number two? Sex. Okay. Uh, number one, what is Madonna's <laughs> baby's name? Lourdes. Ooh. Ooh, Meshach, you are up on your Madonna <laughs> info there, and, but <laughs> second only to the lady on your left, Paula Poundstone. Uh, number two, uh, how long have you been doing Madonna? For about eight years now. Uh, number three, have you worked on a movie set? Yes. Uh, what movie? Without You, I'm Nothing. Uh, number one. Is this a full-time or part-time job? Full-time. Same for you, number two? Yeah, it depends on how popular Madonna is at the time. Uh, number three, uh, what's the most requested song? Probably Vogue. Number one? Vogue. Vogue, uh-huh. Uh, what's an example, number two, of a look-alike legality that you could uh, help me avoid? You can never say that you are that person. You can't deliberately mislead anyone into thinking you're actually the person. Right. Number three, anything else to add to that? Um, that's a good answer. Um, <laughs> is it number one, number two, or number three. And at this time, I'll ask our audience to vote as well, and I'll welcome back to To Tell the Truth. One of our challengers is the real celebrity imposter, uh. Bella Vlasis. The other two are lying. We're going to find out who that is right now. Meshack Taylor, for whom did you vote? Well, you guys have started something because Paula keeps on making fun of me. She's imitating me now. So I think she's going to assume my personality. But uh, I, I, I don't know. The, you all really do kind of look like Madonna. but. I, I think that number three really has the, has the look down pat. Now, I may be wrong, but I'm going to vote for number three. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Paul, I have a feeling that you have a different take on it. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have... I said three, and I don't know why. You don't know why. All right. Yeah, and Alan, on to you. For whom did you vote? Well, I think they're all well-versed on the topic of Madonna. And uh, one and three look the most like L Madonna to me. So I'm just gambling that number two does some wondrous things with makeup, and I voted for number two. Number two, all right. Tracy Bingham, on to you. You know, I, I kind of have to go with Alan. I mean, you all just, I can see a little bit of Madonna in all of you. I mean, number three, of course, you even have the voice down. And it's so scary. I mean, I've seen Madonna in person, and you, I, I feel like I'm looking right at her. But as well as makeup, I know a lot about contouring. There's something about number two. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with two. Gonna go I with said two. two. All, right. <laughs> All right. And time now to find out what our audience thought. <laughs> ah, okay. 47% gave the nod to number three. And it's time now to find out which one of our challengers is the real celebrity imposter. So please, will the real Bella Velasquez please stand up? Very good. Have a seat. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Oh, 
<laughs> Number one, I love the way you were doing everything right through the glasses. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Sarah Selby, and I'm a property owner, and I invest in the stock market. Good for you. Good time to be there. Number two, who are you? And what my do you name, do? My name is Marsha Fields, and I just recently graduated from Syracuse University. Well, you got two votes there. All right. Have you, now, uh, Bella, have you ever actually met Madonna? Yes, I have. You have. And what was, was it? What did she say? Oh, my. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> she's, well, I wasn't dressed up like her when I met her, um, but she's been very gracious. I love Madonna. No. Now, uh, What's not to be gracious? She's a cajillionaire. Why would <laughs> But, uh, Bella, I want to ask you this, honestly. If I had that much money, I'd be gracious, I'll tell you that. <laughs> in your travels in the celebrity look-alike circle, how many Paula pa Poundstones are running around? There's hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. I figured hundreds. it would probably be the most... Not as pretty as her, though. Oh. Well, listen, on, uh, I understand oh. you do have a book out that says, Made You Look, and I will tear that off to reveal there you are, right there. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. You, uh, as I count up there, two incorrect votes, so there's a jackpot of $2,000 that all three of you will split. We're going to take a look now. Thank you again for being with us. Here is what is...